What's up guys? Massive action. I got another great video for y'all today. Today we're going to talk about A, B, and C players. What does that mean? A, B, C players, right? So, I'm just, I'm just going to speak all myself because I, w I was once like a C, D player. And at the time, I thought I was like an A player, but I was really like a C, D player. C, not, not C, D, like a C, better C, D, like not, not, not very well. And, uh, and some of those, some of the things that I would do as a C player or as a D player was I was, I was late to work. Uh, I was very unorganized. Uh, I wouldn't listen to my my manager. Uh, I wouldn't listen. I wouldn't work well with my colleagues. I would always uh, joke around with them. I would always make fun of them. Uh, I was always late for lunch, coming back. Uh, I was late to meetings. And I was just very disruptive. And uh, and I, re I remember those days because I could never keep a job. I was always getting fired. I was always, uh, you know, maybe getting very little hours. And so it, it forced me to, to leave. Um, and so, it, I kept going through this cycle of like different jobs, being laid off, uh, not getting along with my bosses, uh, not getting along, not getting along with other coworkers, uh, and just and just kind of being stuck in, in in this like cycle of not having a job, not having no money, and not being able to like build any kind of career because. I wasn't able to, to establish a foundation anywhere that I worked. And it was very frustrating. And I would always revert back to like my excuses or my childhood and say, you know what, well, it's because, you know, the way I grew up or it's because of this, the way I am as a person. And I would always use those as, as excuses. And what would happen is I would just kind of repeat this cycle. And it wasn't until I got a little older and uh, I started to have more responsibilities. And so the job that I would get was, would be, you know, more important because I had responsibilities that relied on me uh, and I needed to keep a job. So now that my job was really to try to keep the job on top of doing whatever they wanted me to do. And so, you know, my bad habits carried with me and then my... You know the, the stress of trying to figure out how I was gonna keep a job without losing a job because I kind of had this pattern and then it, it finally like like started to hit me whenever I transitioned to like a business owner and what happened was I I, I went from this you know losing jobs not being able to work in a good place to opening my own shop because I said well you know what if if I can't work well with anybody, I'm gonna have to just work for myself, okay? And, and I assumed that was the best solution, right? And what happens is, you know, a lot of a lot of business owners say, well, you know what? I'm not. I, I never wanted to work with anybody, so I decided to open my own business, right? Well, a lot of those businesses end up failing because they they try to do everything by themselves. And they think they know everything. And so, because they're C players, they're C employees. And so then, then they become C business owners, C entrepreneurs. And so they're never really good entrepreneurs. They're never really good business owners, right? So the main, the main purpose of this video is to say, okay, you know what? Take some time to, and, and really identify yourself and say, okay, am I a C player, B player? A player or am I way off a D player, right? Because the average, you know, company that's doing well, that, that that's 
moving forward, that has big visions, they, they don't want to waste their time with C and D players. Because th those players haven't came around to the sense to say, you know what, I need to be more accountable for myself. I need to be more of a team player. I need to get into that B, A mindset. How do I do that, right? And so the way that you do that is you start to become a team player. Start to figure out how to fit, solve problems within the business. Start to figure out how to communicate well with your managers, with employees. Start to like be a team player. Don't just come around making excuses, you know, carrying negative energy. You're gonna be eliminated. You're gonna be eliminated and, and, and whenever the time comes for layoffs or new position openings, you know, you're gonna be the first to go and you're gonna be the last to be advanced up, up the ladder because of your attitude and because of the level you're playing at. And so some ways that you can develop yourself is to start to self-improve your, like stuff, start to self-improve your mindset, start to educate yourself, start to study your industry, start to study your, your job position. How can I be a better employee? You know, if you're, a, if you're an office manager or if you're an accountant, if you're a bookkeeper or if you're a technician, uh, how do you become a better, you know, technician? How do you become a better bookkeeper? How do you become a better accountant for that business, right? How do you become a, a better receptionist? Like all these things can, can improve. So you can actually go from being a C, you know, secretary to being a B, A secretary to where you're on top of the game and you're you're now you're a team player because what happens with, with team players is they become team leaders in a business. You see how, how it kind of carries up? If you wanna be on a if you wanna be a team leader, you first you gotta make the conscious decision to be a team player. You can't be like, oh well I don't I hate my employees. You know, they do their job, I do my job, and, and as long as I, I'm, I get paid, as long as I, you know, do my 40 hours, I'm good. If you have that kind of attitude, you're always gonna be, you're always gonna be in this cycle of, you know, worrying about your job, worrying about, you know, if you're gonna be able to build a career there. Uh, you're always gonna be the lookout for, you're always gonna be looking out for the better uh, money opportunities. You know, you're always gonna be searching, you're never gonna build a foundation, and that's gonna repeat through the whole cycle of your life, you know? Because look, I'm just gonna be straightforward with you. Like, business owners don't wanna be babysitters. Like, we're not in the, we're not, we didn't open a business to babysit people. Someone didn't invest their, their life savings to open a business to, to babysit adults. So if, Look, take us take a minute and, and evaluate yourself. Say, you know what? Um, I, I need to I need I need to evaluate myself and figure out how I can be a B player, A player, and and transition to a team leader. Because if you work your way up to a team leader, I mean you've you've built a career for yourself. You you you've built some security for yourself. You know, you're in a, you're in a very good position. Because you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, you're not gonna be the first ones to get laid off if you're if you're that valuable to the to the business. If you're that if you're that valuable to your other employees, if you're the one that brings everybody together, if you're the one that that's not complaining, the one that's not negative, the one that's not you know very pessimistic, and, and the one that's not always shooting down ideas, you want to be the one that's okay. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen. And I'm gonna see what we gotta do to make the situation better because I'm gonna be a team player. And I and eventually I'm gonna be a team leader and I'm gonna I'm gonna run you know this organization, I'm gonna run my department, I'm gonna make sure that I do it, you know, in the best way possible with the best information because I'm I'm educating myself. I'm I'm investing in myself to educate myself so that I can get better for my career, so I can get better to to improve my family. You know what I'm saying? You know, I had a conversation with someone this weekend. You know, I said, hey, do, do you know that they're hiring over here? And, and and the first thing that they said, they said, hey, well, you know, do, do you know what they're, they're gonna pay, right? And so I said, man, you know, I said, you, you, should, you shouldn't really worry about that. I said, you should 
really worried about what opportunities they might offer you. I said, because did you know that with that company, they'll actually pay for you to go to school uh, to get certified to be uh, one, of, one of their uh, advisors. I said, dude, that, that's, 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 that's a big investment for them to make into someone. I said, so just imagine if, you know, you, you went to that employee and said, how much are you going to pay me? They're automatically gonna they're gonna turn away because they know that that you're only you're only interested about the money. You're not interested about the the opportunity. You're not looking for for a career. You're looking for a job. So whenever you ask how much am I gonna get paid, that means that you're just looking for a job. You're not looking for a career. Okay. And so moving forward, if you got laid off, if you if you got fired, whatever the case, maybe it's time to reevaluate yourself and say, okay, you know what? This time around. I'm gonna come in as a B player. I'm gonna come in a little bit stronger than I was before. You know, yeah, maybe I'm a D player, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work my way up to C, B. But I'm gonna let my my bit my company know, uh, my employer know that I'm working on myself. I'm gonna let them know that I'm improving myself to become an A player and eventually be in a position where they give me more responsibility so I can be a team leader and run this business. So hey guys, moving forward. Let's become A players. Nobody wants to babysit you. Nobody has time for your drama. Nobody has time for your negativity. You know, it's it's a blessing to, to wake up and, and be able to go work. It's a blessing to be able to use your mind to problem solve, to make money, to, to help people. I mean, be grateful for that opportunity. Be grateful for that, you know, to be able to get up early and, and go out and, and hunt and provide for your family male or female it doesn't matter like you can go out and get it so hey guys thanks for watching make sure y'all subscribe share this video with someone that that might need some encouragement you know that that's been down on their luck that's you know been trying to find a job that been been hitting dead ends let them know not to give up take some time to reevaluate and say okay you know what i'm gonna go into the workplace i'm gonna come in as an a player I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really work hard this year to be an A player and then eventually be a team leader. Later, guys.